save our planet. Global temperatures to rise much higher than were expected. 2,000 scientists and other dignitaries were gathered in Copenhagen, Denmark this week to learn of the latest climate change science at what experts are now calling the end of the world conference due to the alarming new data. One example included previous predictions of a 2 degrees Celsius rise in the world's temperature, which now appear to be severely underestimated. Conference organizer and University of Copenhagen Oceanography, Professor Catherine Richardson stated, we can forget about the 2 degrees Celsius. We are now facing the situation where we have to avoid a 5 to 6 degrees Celsius rise in temperature. The IPCC, the UN climate panel, got it right. And it turns out that we're on their worst case trajectory or the worst case scenario that they defined or maybe even worse. And the good news is it turns out that we have an awful lot of tools in our toolbox already that we can use to immediately begin to combat climate change. Supreme Master Television asked participating scientists what tools they believed are the most readily effective. It's only going to be solved if the people of the world demand a solution. And one way of demanding a solution is to begin by changing your own life and reducing your consumption. Reducing our meat production is probably the single most effective thing that individuals can do immediately to reduce their greenhouse gas impact. It would be one of the the almost silver bullets, really, yeah, because it would be very good for the planet. We are grateful, Project Professors Richardson, Jameson and Shellnuber, so and all other scientists participants for alerting us to the frightening new data demonstrating the rapid pace of climate change and for sharing with us the most effective solution. Through our combined efforts, may all people wake up to the need to act now by being veg to save the planet. Save our planet. Runaway explosive gas from a warming Arctic. At the Copenhagen Climate Congress this past week, climate researcher Dr. Philippe Cies of the French Laboratory for Climate Sciences and the Environment warned that just a 2 degrees Celsius rise in average world temperature could instigate a carbon time bomb in the vast regions of Arctic permafrost. The sustained warming of the soil could initiate bacterial composting leading to a cycle of accelerated temperature increase and the possibly explosive fatal release of billions of tons of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. In a recent phone interview with Supreme Master Television, Dr. Isabel Simpson of the University of California, Irvine, USA, shared her views and concern about the current situation of thawing in the Arctic. You know, a lot of the, the, the climate change feedback scenarios involve methane. You know, there's all this methane trapped in the permafrost in the Arctic. And, and, you know, you already get research coming out saying, okay, these fl the lakes are thawing in Siberia and you're getting all this methane released from these thaw lakes. Um, there's so much methane trapped under the permafrost, you know, orders of magnitude more than what's in the atmosphere now. And the concern is, at what point does that methane start being released under melting scenarios? What would keep me awake at night is, you know, thinking about the future and where are the methane reservoirs, how stable are they? And... Um, you know, how fast is the change occurring in the Arctic and can we get carbon dioxide under control before something catastrophic happens? Dr. Simpson, CAs and colleagues, we thank you for alerting us to the dire situation caused by the warming atmosphere to our Earth. We pray that the world's citizens quickly transition to a kinder, more considerate lifestyle to preserve all life on our beautiful globe. During a video conference with Supreme Master Television staff members in California, USA, in January 2009, Supreme Master Ching Hai revealed through her insight and inner contact with inhabitants of Mars some truths about the history of climate change. Only a tiny minority had survived the runaway events, whose beginnings were similar in many ways to the current situation on Earth. The mass extinction came, they died, not only human beings and there were the animals also they die by two main poisonous gases, namely hydrogen sulfide and nitrous oxide, plus methane at the third course. But hydrogen sulfide and methane from the livestock began to warm the climate and then triggered more other gases from the ocean, from permafrost and glacier around the planet, just like what is happening to our planet right now. As the destruction happened too fast, no one can help anyone. Only 0.2% of them escaped, around 2 million, into 
the underground caves, and that's how they survive. They retain the history of what happened so that the descendants know how to take care of what they have and not to be careless and not to be so destructive anymore, but more virtuous and spiritual. Supreme Master Ching Hai admired for raising global awareness and hope. In the online news magazine, The American Chronicle, France-based journalist and vegan Gwenedy paid tribute to Supreme Master Ching Hai's efforts in alerting the world to the critical situation of a warming planet and for offering much-needed guidance as well as hope. The following are excerpts from the article she wrote in English titled, Ching Hai Soars Above the Fray. In fact, it is Ching Hai and her followers who almost single-handedly have forced the worldwide media to finally report the story, untouched and untouchable for years, of what the most eminent scientists say about global warming. For we have not been told that the melting of the poles simultaneously creates toxic methane gas chimneys in the polar seas. By the time the poles are gone, scientists estimate there will be so much toxic gas in the atmosphere that our Earth will no longer sustain life as we know it now. But Ching Hai's position is that there is still hope. The meltdown can be stopped, even at this late hour. Our planet can be saved. How? By reducing global warming, fast. And one easy step which each individual can take without asking any permission, investing in any material or consulting anyone, is to stop supporting the industrial production of animals for human consumption which it is estimated contributes more than 18% of the total greenhouse gases responsible for global warming. In an interview with Supreme Master Television, Dr. T. Colin Campbell, renowned nutrition researcher and international best-selling author, informed us of very new figures from the World Bank, stating that, in fact, the livestock industry's generation of total greenhouse gases exceeds not 18%, but 50%. And I just had some information from my friends at the World Bank just recently that the new figures now indicate that at least half of the greenhouse gases that are up there now, not, not the 15 or 20%, mm -hmm. at least half and maybe considerably more mm -hmm. are due to livestock production. Let us hope that Ching Hai is right and that there is still hope that humanity will once again survive a crisis that is ultimately of its own making. Indeed, Supreme Master Ching Hai's extraordinary endeavors and leadership has helped many to make the life-saving change needed to save the planet. We appreciate journalist Gwenedy for this expressive article and join the author in optimistic outlook that we not only will survive the planet's crisis, but with heaven's grace, will create an even better world for all co-inhabitants. Thank you.